like somebody's playing with a drill inside my skull. You sure this is the place? It's the address in the report. Right. Okay. Let's get going. Sexiest androids in town. Now I know why you insisted on coming here. Oh boy. Welcome to Eden Club. Connor! The fuck are you doing? Coming, Lieutenant. You're not gonna take my license, are you? I had nothing to do with this. The investigation... It's ongoing, sir. I can't tell you anything for the moment. Hey, Hank. Hey, Ben. How's it going? It's that room there. Oh, uh, by the way, Gavin's in there, too. Oh, great. Dead body and an asshole. Just what I needed. Lieutenant Anderson and his plastic pet. What the fuck are you two doing here? We've been assigned to all cases involving androids. Oh, yeah? Like wasting time. There's some pervert who, uh, <laughs> got more action than he could handle. <laughs> we'll have a look anyway, if you don't mind. <laughs> Come on, let's go. It's, uh, starting to stink of booze in here. Good night, Lieutenant. You're so disgusting. I think I'm gonna puke again. He didn't die of a heart attack. He was strangled. Yeah. I saw the bruising on the neck. Doesn't prove anything, though. Could have been a rough play. We're missing something here. Think you can read the android's memory? Maybe you can see what happened. I can try. The 
only way to access its memory is to reactivate it. Think you can do it? It's badly damaged. If I can, it'll only be for a minute, maybe less. I just hope it's long enough to learn something. know what happened. Is he... Is he dead? Tell me what happened. He started... hitting me. Again. And again. Did you kill him? No. No, it wasn't me. Were you alone in the room? Was there anyone else with you? He wanted us to play with two girls. That's what he said, there was two of us. So it was the other android that strangled him. Is that it? <laughs> so there was another android. This happened over an hour ago. It's probably long gone. No. It couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoticed. It might still be here. If you could find a deviant among all the other androids in this place. Deviants aren't easily detected. Oh shit. There's gotta be some other way. Maybe an eyewitness, somebody who saw it leaving the room. I'm gonna go ask the manager a few questions about what he saw. You let me know if you think of anything. something? Maybe. Can you rent this, Tracy? For fuck's sake, Connor. We got better things to do. Please, Lieutenant. Just trust me. on my expense account. Purchase confirmed. Eden Club wishes you a pleasant experience. You're welcome. Delighted to meet you. Follow me. I'll take you to your room. Okay, now what? It saw something. What are you talking about? It saw what? The Deviant leave the room. A blue-haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find another witness. Hey, what am I supposed Let's try this one. This better be... Nothing. Blue-haired 
Lord Tracy didn't come this way. It saw the blue-haired Tracy. I know which way it went. Then go for it. There are androids everywhere. How are you going to tell which one and saw the Tracy with blue hair? I know which direction it took. I just need to find another android on its path. Somewhere. This has got to be the most expensive investigation of my career. Nothing. Blue-haired Tracy didn't come this way. I know where it went. Follow me. Oh, fucking A. This is crazy. Wait. I'll take it from here.
shit! We're too late! Look at them. They get used till they break and then they get tossed out. People are fucking insane. They don't want... No relationships anymore. Everybody just gets an android. They cook what you want. They screw when you want. You don't have to worry about how they feel. Next thing you know... We're gonna be extinct because everybody would rather buy a piece of plastic than to love another human being. Beats me. Come on, Connor. We're leaving. Yes. Don't move!
man broke the other Tracy. I knew I was next. I was so scared. I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't. And so I put my hands around his throat, and I squeezed until he stopped moving. I didn't mean to kill him. I just wanted to stay alive, get back to the one I love. I wanted her to hold me in her arms again, make me forget about the humans, their smell of sweat, and their dirty words. Come on, let's go. Probably better this way.